hi everyone it's Steph and welcome to another video my word we are at the end of the towel series I cannot believe it I'm kind of sad I've really enjoyed doing this series um, but all good things eventually come to an end right the colors I've chosen are predictably Christmas colors which are not my favorite colors if I'm really honest but um, for these colors I've chosen olive the green uh, the red which is brick the neutral which is ivory black and of course just a little bit of bling I did a last minute change to this pattern mainly because it didn't seem to matter what color I popped into the weft those ivory stripes were just dominant um, and it wasn't the look that I wanted for this project so I ended up removing them and then I played around with weft colors and found a pattern that I was happy with. Warping this pattern up was relatively easy. It's just a um, stripes graduating down from one color to the next color. Um, and I just mirrored um, the left half with the right half. I popped some black borders on and a little bit of bling um, in between just to jazz these up. These ones will be my display Christmas ones. Threading the reed was really easy, just moving one thread from the slot to the hole across the whole reed um, and then tying up, tying on and away I go on the first towel. The first towel was black as the weft and this one ended up being my favourite. I like the bling along the edges and then the bottom of the top and I think the black really brings out the best of the Christmas colours. The second towel I used the ivory colour as the weft and it didn't really turn out how I really wanted it to. I didn't really like it on the loom, however off the loom um, it actually calmed down, it didn't look quite so um, in your face but uh, it did end up looking quite nice. The third one also turned out really nice and I just did the red as the weft. Um, I had just enough on my roll to do that. I literally finished with probably two picks to spare. Um, that one turned out very nice and I did put the bling in the beginning and the end of the red towel as well.
To finish, I wash them in my washing machine on the delicate cycle with a little bit of dish soap or dishwashing liquid just to get rid of any machine oils from making of the yarn. Um, lie flat, uh, just across clothes areas in the shade um, to dry. And once it's all dry, I give it a good iron and snip off those tails. To separate the towels, I zigzag the beginning and the end of the weave and either side of the separator yarn, and then I can safely snip the towels apart. To hem them, I just fold the ends twice and then sew along that line, and the towels are done. Thank you to all of you who have followed me throughout this series. It has been so much fun. The, the point of it, um, not only sharing it with you, but in doing it is, um, well, not just to have Christmas presents for family and friends, but also to do a really in-depth study of colour and weave. And I really feel like I've come away with a lot more knowledge. Um, I still have more to learn. I think there's always more to learn, but I've really, really enjoyed um, making these videos for you and sharing my process. If you did find this video helpful, please click that, click that like button and that helps YouTube to share this video with others. If you feel comfortable, please subscribe. I have a lot more content planned for this year. It's going to be an action-packed 2024 that I'll be sharing with you and I can't wait to take you on this journey. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Christmas, my true love gave to me Twelve drummers drum, eleven pipers piping Ten lords will beat me, nine ladies waiting Eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming Six geese are laying, five golden rings Four golden birds, three French hens, two turtle doves And a partridge in a pantry And a partridge